Hi, I'm Sarah, and today I'm going to demonstrate the administration of oral medications. So I'm going to go over here to my computer and look up my patient. Okay, our patient is Morgan Brown, date of birth August 4th, 1970. He has no known allergies. So now I'm going to look at my orders and see what medications I have to administer today. Okay, I see that he has an order for Docusate, 100 milligrams to be given today orally. Uh, also an order for Dijoxin, 0.25 milligrams to be given today. Ferrosamide, 20 milligrams to be given today. And potassium chloride, 20 milliequivalents to be given twice a day, once this morning and later this evening. So I've already been in the room to see the patient. I've done all my appropriate assessments. Um, one thing you have to make sure when you're giving Dijoxin, the heart rate, checking the patient's heart rate is really important. Um, his heart rate was above 60, so it's safe to give the medication. Things to consider is if his heart rate is below 60, you would want to consider holding the medication and notifying the physician. Um, he's getting furosemide. Furosemide is considered a water pill. We need to make sure that we are checking for adequate INO. Um, we also want to make sure that we look at our labs, such as our potassium level. I looked at all of that today and it looked good. He is going to get uh, some extra supplementation with the potassium. And then the docusate, that's a stool softener, which you want to tell the patient how that works, bringing water into the bowel. And we want to know when was his last bowel movement. And after I looked in the chart, it looks like his last bowel movement was today. Okay, so after I've done all my proper assessments, I now need to um, think about what are my adverse reactions and other patient teaching that I want to do. So of course I want to explain to him all the reasons that he's getting these medications, why he would be getting furosemide. I saw that he has a history of heart failure, CHF, so that's important to keep fluid off the body. Um, again, like I said, potassium is the supplementation. Digoxin, that's to help the heart work better. That's going to give the heart a better pumping ability. And then the stool softener to help um, him move his bowels a little bit easier. Okay. So um, any adverse effects that I want to look for? So here in the drug book, I'm going to start with docusate sodium. Um, with docusate, you want to make sure that you're monitoring the patient's stool um, and that they're not going too frequently or that the stool isn't too liquidy. Um, with digoxin, like I said, we have to check the heart rate. We want to make sure that the heart rate is not um, dropping, okay? So after we give the medication, we want to keep an assessment of how the patient's heart rate's looking, that it's not going too low, and that the patient's not exhibiting any dizziness or lightheadedness. Um, we also have to monitor for something called dig toxicity. Um, you could check a patient's level with that, but you also want to assess for if they're seeing any yellow or green floaters, if they're exhibiting any confusion. And then with potassium, since we are giving the supplement, but if a pot patient's potassium was too low, um, they might be experiencing some weakness, some cramping. Um, when the potassium's too high, that's why we have to be very cautious. That can cause some um, lethal arrhythmias. And um, furosemide, um, like I said, we have to monitor here for um, INO. Okay, and then watching our electrolytes because we don't want those electrolytes to be too depleted. If sodium gets depleted, they get um, neurologic effects um, and then with the potassium, cardiac effects. Now I'm going to go to the medication cart and gather my supplies and my medications. 
going to perform my first check. So I have right patient, Morgan Brown, right drug, Dacusate, 100 milligram tablets to be given orally today at 10 a.m. The medication is not expired and I will document correctly. Next medication is Dijaxin. I have the right patient, Morgan Brown. The right medication is Dijaxin. The right dose, 0.25 milligrams to be given orally today at 10 a.m. The medication is not expired and I will document correctly. My next medication is furosemide. So I have the right patient for Morgan Brown. Right drug, furosemide, right dose, 20 milligrams, right route to be given orally, to be given today at 10 a.m., the right time, and medication's not expired, and I will document correctly. Lastly, I have potassium for the right patient, Morgan Brown, the right drug, potassium chloride, the right dose, 20 milliequivalents, the right route to be given orally, the right time today at 10 a.m., and the medication is not expired, and I will document correctly. So that completes my first check. Now I'm going to do my second check. Okay, I have the right patient, Morgan Brown, the right drug, Dacusate, 100 milligrams, to be given right route orally, to be given today, the time, 10 a.m. The medication is not expired and I will document correctly. To Jackson, I have the right patient, Morgan Brown, the right drug, to Jackson, the right dose, 0.25 milligrams, to be given at the right time, 10 a.m. today. The correct route is oral. The medication is not expired, and I will document correctly. Then I have furosemide. Again, the right patient, Morgan Brown, the correct drug, furosemide, the correct dose, 20 milligrams, to be given at the right time, today at 10 a.m., to be given the route orally. The medication is not expired, and I will document correctly. And then potassium for the right patient, Morgan Brown, the right drug, potassium chloride, the right dose, 20 milliequivalents, the right time to be given today at 10 a.m., the right route to be given orally, the medication's not expired, and I will document correctly. Now I'm ready to go to my patient's room. Hi Morgan, it's Sarah, your nurse. I'm here to give you your medications. Hi Sarah. How are you doing? I'm okay. All right, I'm gonna put the head of the bed up here so you can swallow properly. All your medications are gonna be given orally. I don't want you to choke. And if you remember, I was in the room earlier and completed all my assessments. Okay. I'm gonna get into your chart here, Morgan. Okay, can you tell me your name and date of birth? Morgan Brown, August 4th, 1970. Okay, good, that's what I have here. Okay, so one thing to keep in mind is I'm performing my third check in the room right now, and that is because I have an electronic medical record. When you have an electronic medical record and unit dose medication, you need to bring that medication in the room with you to do your third check to be able to scan the medication because that's when you are going to document. 
If you're in a facility that does not have an electronic medical record, such as a long-term care or a skilled nursing facility, you will be performing that third check outside the room at the med cart prior to coming into the patient's room. Okay, Morgan, do you have any allergies? No. All right, great. All right, so let's see here. All right, our first medication is going to be Docusate. That's a stool softener. Okay, so I have the right patient, Morgan Brown, the right drug, Docusate, the right dose, 100 milligrams. I have for the right time today at 10 a.m. I have the right route, orally. I am going to document now and the medication is not expired. Okay, documenting. Okay, now our next medication is Dejaxin. This is for your heart. Okay, I have the right patient, Morgan Brown. I have the right drug, Dejaxin. I have the right dose, 0.25 milligrams. I have the right time to be given today at 10 a.m., the right route to be given orally. Uh, the medication is not expired, and I will document now. And our next medication is furosemide. Okay, I have the right patient, Morgan Brown. I have the right drug, furosemide. I have the right dose, 20 milligrams. I have the right time today at 10 a.m. I have the right route to be given orally. The medication's not expired, and I will document now. Okay, and lastly, oh Morgan, the furosemide, that's your water pill to help get the extra water out of your body. So you're gonna urinate a lot today, okay? Okay. All right, and then we have potassium chloride. This is a potassium supplement. We don't want your potassium to get too low. So we have the right patient, Morgan Brown. We have the right medication, potassium chloride. I have the correct dose, 20 mil equivalents. I have the correct time to be given today at 10 a.m. I have the correct route orally, and the medication's not expired, and I will document now. Okay. Okay, Morgan, now you said you could swallow these all at once. Yeah, thank okay. you. Okay, all right, good. Now I can't, I'm gonna give you just enough water to swallow these. You're on a fluid restrictions of a thousand milliliters and we have to monitor very closely what you're taking in. So I've got some water in your medications here. Okay, here you go. Okay, here's some water. All right, good. Did those go down okay? Yep. All right, just want to make sure there's nothing left in your mouth. Okay, good. Uh, Morgan, I'll be back in about an hour to check on you. Um, here's your call light. If you need anything, go ahead and push the red button. Uh, my side rails are up. My bed's in the lowest position. Are you comfortable in this position? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Morgan, feel free to call me sooner if you need anything or if you start to feel... Um, dizzy or any palpitations um, but like I said I will be in in about an hour to check on you again okay thank you mm -hmm.
that now completes our demonstration of oral medication administration. Thank you.